Hey everyone, Aiden from Lynx Fabrication. Um, tried to record this video yesterday and I must have hit the stop button when I was moving the camera around. So what I've got for you here is a manifold which I have just machined. Um, wasn't as nice in the clamps as I would like and it got a bit of chatter. But um, nevertheless I can clean this up a little bit further and I can have this usable for someone, most likely me, um, still considering doing turbo and supercharger on my FE3. Um, it's been stalled a bit because of the business, being busy, but being winter here now, I'll probably lift my butt soon and um, start working on it. So I have some people asking me how I get the really nice chamfered edges on these. And quite often I will send plates out or flanges to people that are already machined and had all the stuff done. So what I will do today is show you guys how I clean up a flange um, after it's been machined. Um, for those of you who are buying just straight flanges, they're not machined because they will bend when you weld them. And it's quite normal to get 0.5 mil of bend across a flange and it'll need to be decked. So this has been done, this is welded and been decked. Um, which you can see in my previous video and now I'm going to clean up all the sharps on this so that it doesn't have a razor sharp edge the ports aren't so sharp um, and then prep off any minor high spots on this so first thing I will usually do is set myself up with a couple of tools first one is this tool here so this tool here and you can see it. It has two tungsten carbide inserts in it and it chambers at 45 degrees. On the side of it here is the adjuster. Now I've calibrated it so that what it reads as is fairly correct. Um, so for most outside edges I'm using that 0.5. Here we go, 0.5. And then the insides, if they need it, I'm going up to 1.2 to 1.5. So at the moment this is preset to 0.5, and I'm going to do all these outside edges and all these holes. Um, apologies, this is going to be a little bit noisy, but it is quite satisfying. So here we go. So I'll need my airline back, which I'll put outside. Alright, right, one airline. So I'm going to start off by doing the outside perimeter. Now this flange is already mostly degreased, so I'm not going to use any um, cutting fluid. Um, the inserts are using a stainless steel, so they're very hard and resistant to chatter. So they're excellent for doing this stuff without any lube. And it goes something like this. So, for the most part, I'm happy with this. Like, this side that you guys can see looks quite nice. But this back side here where it was chipping against the, um, the cutter, I'm not too happy with. So I'm going to most likely adjust this and go another 0.3 deeper. And that will give me a much nicer edge. This one you can see is mostly untouched because that was the lowest spot. Um, while, I'll just shuffle that slightly for you. So you can see that it's still got a little bit of the mill scale on it, um, because it's, uh, under level. So this was 0.78 under when it was finished welding, which is, you know, on the top end of what I would like it to be. 
but is expected with uh, long long runners because they pull a lot more than say your normal log manifold, which might get 0.3. Um, so if I can find my Allen keys, I will adjust this for you. Bear with me for two seconds. It's going to be one of these two. So on the ring here is a pair of Allen keys. You just nip those off and you can then adjust this number. Sorry, I lied, it was set to 0.8 already. So I'm going to go to 1.2. And then you lock it back off again. And what this does is it moves that so more sticks out. We'll give this another go. looking a lot better it's taken off that um, roughed edge quite well the top side which is on the side closest to the, to the jig has less vibration and therefore didn't need as much taken off it but I'd rather it look the same so now that's done I'm gonna start working on the holes which is quite easy manifold is moving a little bit. I'm just going to eyeball check these ports because I don't really want them to be any wider. So I think these ones, because they're already quite wide in the middle here, I will just use the pencil sander, which is this. Very, very handy little tool. Um, another one of those tools you quite want if you're doing this kind of work. It lets you clean up your porting. You see, I just take that sharp edge off there. Which has quite a little bit of finesse sometimes. Now, if I don't take these off, I could have the gasket getting caught on a sharp edge. I could also have that edge getting hot and eroding, which would make the gasket again leak. So it's important that we take these off and make them tidy. Whoopsie. That was that was something. Here we go. So I'm going to take you guys off the stand now, and probably, uh, here we go, so you see these are my finished ports, you can see some penetration in there, that one you won't see much because it goes straight to a 45, and that one goes on a riser straight to 
the 90. So overall finish is very nice now. Gives that level of professionalism that you would expect. Now, this tool is not a break the bank tool. Um, they come on AliExpress. I was skeptical that it was better than the three hundred odd dollar one available from my local store. Um, nevertheless, I ordered it. It was like forty five, fifty dollars maybe. I'll confirm that for you later. Um, and it came with these inserts, and I'm actually very surprised. I probably built about 10, 15 manifolds now, and still on the original inserts. I haven't indexed them. I've cut aluminium with them for the adapter plates. I've cut stainless with them. And here I'm cutting mild steel. And it's a really good little tool. Um, you can use it for doing your external chamfers on your pipe. But your pipe does need to be quite square. And it doesn't really work if your pipe's much bigger than 32 nominal bore. Um, so 40 nominal bore, you sort of start falling inside the pipe and don't really get that nice chamfer but for 32 nominal bore you can shove them in the vise and run it around the outside and save yourself all that time lanishing um and it, it it actually saves a fair bit of time so thank you for watching again um i'm going to bang on about the wikipedia um this is a manifold flange for the fe3 um i do run the wikipedia and it is fe3.wiki it's a community site um i would like everyone who has the ability to and the time to to submit information if you don't have time to submit it yourself then email it through to me um i'm absolutely happy to take stuff that way um, i do take stuff from the public facebook pages and use that to create some of the documents there um but if you guys can do have time to help me out and maintain this resource for everyone else um, i would greatly appreciate it thank you very much for watching have a good day guys Bye.